engage on stuff that's showing up here well you're going to keep saying the same stuff and the same stuff over hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and I'm back with the number four number four of five steps of this ebook that you might have missed i don't know if you saw the other ones there's i had three other episodes talking about the other questions in this ebook we're going to get to what question that is in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So, the truth about attraction marketing on social media. You know, you might have been listening to attraction marketing or learning from leaders about attraction marketing, but are you learning the right things? Now, I know it might be presumptuous for me to say that there's a truth, that there's something that hasn't been taught. But if you check this out, this is the list of questions. There's five questions in here, or five steps, I should say, five steps on attraction marketing. Before we get into that, though, I want to remind you, if you're watching, listening to the audio, not watching, listening to the audio, you will want to go check out the video at cis 454 jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen and showing you the ebook a little bit so go check that out all right so let's talk about this ebook so the first question was about setting up why do I say question I know why because I'm actually working on, on another ebook but the first step is setting up your profile now you're going to want to go check out one of the previous episodes that talk that I talk about how to set up your profile what's important about your profile and there's even a free resource that will give you the five most <coughs> important things that you need to do to get your profile to profit from online marketing from social media from Facebook all right so that's number one number two is posting every day but using your ideal prospect messages or you know content or or, or words or conversation that your per, your perfect prospect your ideal prospect is actually going to resonate with obviously to do that you need to know who your ideal prospect is you need to define them as an avatar and all these good things which I'm sure you've heard about before as well but that's number two you need to post every day with them in mind if you're posting every day random stuff that's everybody could be interested in well you're going to have a struggle to actually get people to you know connect with you or contact you or buy your stuff right so that's super important number two number three you're going to want to engage on posts of your most targeted market our prospects so i mean you everybody teaches you got to go on facebook go engage go comment go you know but what if you're engaging on the wrong stuff there's it's not going to have any value if you're just randomly engaging on Facebook which is one of the things I talk about a lot is go find the right people now how do you find them well we talk about that in that other um, episode so today we're going to be talking about having conversations with your again ideal prospect right how do you have conversations with your ideal prospect versus you know everybody else or anybody else how do you find them and how do you know when it's time to actually reach out now let me share my screen and kind of show you a few things let me go back over here and let's just talk about oh uh, no I gotta click the button there right all right so let's just talk about you're on Facebook you're scrolling through the feed you're engaging on posts right that are here <coughs> and uh you're just you know engaging on the stuff that's there right so why do you do that why do why does why do leaders teach you to do that when it's not the right thing to do now I'm not you know I'm not making millions but I do know that there's a difference between engaging on you know Lisa Bittner here that's just in my feed <coughs> which you know might be okay versus actually finding people that are the best people to engage with in conversations right so obviously once you have what is this right <laughs> once you have um your list of ideal prospects I showed you that in, the, in last week's uh, episode let me just actually show you that again 
I have a tool that I built that lets you find your ideal prospects. Now that's kind of where I get all my um, processes from or my automation from, right? It's not automation. It just goes and fetches the users that are in groups that are, that are well, first it goes and gets the users that are in groups, right? So that's great, get users that are in groups. But then it tells you who's actually active. So instead of just going to say a group and going to the member list, right? It will give you the list of people that are actually commenting and engaging in posts. Cause you know, if I look at here, I'll just go to view data here. If I go to a group, actually I probably should do that here, right? If I go to a group, let's let it load up in the other screen here. But if I go to a group, uh, let's just say groups right here right and I go to the da, 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 groups and this is one of the things I find now Facebook's changed now to this group feed right which basically posts from the groups that you're in or the posts that are more you know engaging or have more more engagement see that's 25 comments on this one 16 comments on this one uh, one comment here one comment here so I don't know why they're even showing in the feed nine comments but the thing is if I just go to groups uh, let's just say I go to affiliate marketing okay just affiliate marketing because I'm in in that if I just click on see all groups right here it shows me the list of groups right so if I look at the group like this 112,000 people in it 48,000 people in it 161,000 pe people in it right if I go to this one here for example just click on the visit there to go visit this group and I click on people and then I click on uh, things in common or I click on friends or whatever it is let's just say um, new to the group right here is a list of the new people to the group right so I mean some leaders might or you know if you're a spammer or you've got this thing where you don't know yet about uh, the rules on Facebook and Facebook jail and all this thing you might be you might be tempted to come in here and just message these people right or send them a friend request right these new people that are in the group well they must be interested in affiliate marketing you know I mean if, I mean like say if it was weight loss it could be a group of weight loss you might you might think that right but the thing is that first of all Facebook doesn't like you to do that right so that's important to actually remember that Facebook does not like you to do that that you should not be doing that right I'm just checking okay so I mean you can go and look at things you have in common right if I click on this I can see people that I have lots of mutual friends with and maybe I can contact them whatever but the thing is I don't even know if these people actually post things like if I go to say Wiz Wise Mita right here and I just click on her name uh, then I can go here view main profile actually she's active she's posting but that's the thing I didn't know whether she was active or not unless I went to her profile right like let's go back here the other thing is in the group you can actually see that they're active. anyways I'm supposed to be talking about communicating with them sending them messages having conversations that's what number four is about is having conversations now I'm just kind of showing you how you can find people but the thing is that you can't you shouldn't just go in here and just have conversation with these people and send them a message saying hey I I sent you a f well actually I'd, I've done a few of them right some people have sent me friend requests and uh, and uh, some some people have sent uh, I've sent friend requests to and whatever but overall this is a you know list of people that I haven't even con connected with it looks like some of these people have sent me friend requests a while ago but the point is that I don't necessarily just have a conversation with them I'm not just going to look at Betsy here and go to her <coughs> go to her page and just message her because you know she's she looks pretty or because she's got nice pictures or because her profile looks like she's selling something and talk to her about selling whatever it is you know Mike here or or, or David or Paul or 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 Luke uh, I mean uh, Jessica Brian right all these people are act are maybe posting some but here's the real important thing that you need to remember if you're trying to reach out to people if you're trying to have conversations with them you need to know that it's time to have conversations with them it's important to know that it's time so how do you know that right um this is why I build this tool mostly well there's two reasons first is to get the list of people 
to talk to right you see right here 599 records actually if I go to the uh all contacts here it'll show me every single contact I've reached I've I've gathered if you will or captured from Facebook because they've been posting uh in group C to 20,000 that's totally insane right I got 20,000 leads if I click on this these are people I visited four hours ago yesterday <coughs> and you know if we load up some more here if it can if it can load up and load up let's keep going I could load up and just show you like the last you know 500 people or so that I've got on my list here I've actually oh and this is what I wanted to show you okay so if I go back down here keep loading you can see how there's some of them have a different this is the temperature cold hot warm this is the lead temperature it's like in most most lead uh, capture tools let you decide whether your contact is cold which means somebody you don't know they're warm they might have a clue who you are and they're hot they actually know who you are right so how does how does that ha how does that happen right if I look at these K Katie Jones here I visited her four days ago and it, she's a cold prospect right because I just visited her once these numbers here 22 25 37 11 18 40 43 20 that's the number of times that I visited their profile and that's the thing as you visit somebody's profile and you engage on their posts they tend to see you they tend to see your posts right they'll see your posts they'll notice you in their notifications they'll probably go to your profile at least after a while if you've visited them multiple times and maybe they'll connect with you in terms of uh, in their mind right noting who you are what you do a little bit about you and they might even start to see your post in the feed if there's enough engagement between you and them in their posts and they're reacting to your comments and that kind of stuff right so that's just a, how Facebook works Facebook works by showing people stuff um, because you've seen their stuff they're gonna show that's kind of how the, the 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 feed works the normal feed right if I just go back to Facebook here <clears throat> this normal feed that's here the post I'm seeing here in my feed from Joey here and from well that's just a from George Gregory I guess Gregory from Rahat I see I don't I don't Felicia Hill uh, Josh Marla here Christian Brendan Brown Ben Adler this is my own ad Sagar 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 I think it is <coughs> so I mean I see these posts in my feed because either Facebook thinks I'll be interested in it right or it's based on past engagements I've had right so if you just use the feed to control to decide what you engage on right if you just use the feed and just engage on stuff that's showing up here well you're going to keep saying the same stuff and the same stuff over and over because Facebook wants to show you the stuff that it thinks you're going to react to right so yeah sure of course you're going to go and engage on the stuff that's on here because you know it's it's stuff that you've engaged on before but what happens is you'll end up seeing the same 10 20 30 40 people post all the time this is why using a tool like this it lets you choose you know what I'm gonna go visit these you know these 10 people right from this number here to that number here <coughs> I'm just gonna go visit you know 82 to 100 and that's what I'm gonna do today these these are the ones I want to visit today and that's it right you go and do that you choose and then you let the tool tell you how many times you visit them so that when you're ready when they are ready for you to reach out to them they actually have a clue of who you are now that's the real secret when I say in this ebook to reach out to them right after enough time have conversations right you can have conversation with them right in the beginning if you want but that's probably not going to turn into a very good conversation because they're going to know that you're reaching out to them to try to sell them something but if you wait long enough your conversation can be what it's meant to be right which is getting to know them you know finding out if they have a problem that you can help them solve all those kinds of things which are taught in sales tactics and communication and all that super important to do right so you just have to have an ability to know when is it time to reach out to them right and this tool lets you do that by keeping track of how many visits how many posts this is what these are right if I look at tin tin kuta right here this number here 26 
this number 63 and 63 that's so 26 is how many visits how many times have I visited her profile so if I just click on her name here it'll load up this uh summary right with uh, additional details kind of if I mouse over this I can see or this here I can see the dates of when I visited if I just click on her name again it'll go to her Facebook profile where I can go and engage on some of her posts I can just actually go on here <clears throat> and uh, this post here I already reacted to this one this is a new post right here I can uh, just uh, so <coughs> and then I'm gonna say so I'm just gonna say yes super important to let others see your wins and understand your failures and how you overcame them so they feel uh, connected right uh, not our YRS so let's do that like this so I'm just gonna react I'm just put put this comment and I do a reaction right here so now now I can do another one and another one right normally I would I would do three <clears throat> but then I just close this and I just say I commented on one post in this case just do one post right and I save it so now it's showing up as a green that means I visited her in the last 24 hours if I scroll up here you're going to see these ones four hours three hours ago right that's just the list of people that I visited today and over here you can see the the age of the time I visit them four days five days six days so that means that whenever I go back to my list I can say you know just show me the people that I have not visited in at least six days that way I can go visit the profiles that I have not visited in at least six days now what happens here is that that builds up their knowledge of me and uh, because you're doing things that they want you to do on Facebook they at, they'll at least like you right they might not love you or might not trust you or whatever right because that takes uh, more it's all about your content it's all about you having a conversation with them feeling them feeling like you actually care about them all those things so that's super important too but you know you instead of having conversations with people just randomly just by connecting with them through Facebook because they're in the group or because you're using some automation tool I actually got this new tool recently and I'm just trying to figure out the best way to use it because I don't agree with the whole spamming random people although I'm I'm kind of trying it out right just because I need to understand it based on comparison to the, my tool that I built too right but I mean if I look at <clears throat> this tool it lets me do things like I can go to my friends list right and I can actually <laughs> well the tool will let me do a couple things right first it'll let me see um, mm, that's not what I want to show you no sorry if I go to a group let's go back to groups groups is over here if I go to a group and I just go into uh, my groups I just want to discover groups <coughs> there's a the groups left friends groups <coughs> actually I never did that before but let's just say this one here network marketing promote your business and offer work from home moms and dads so let's take a look at this one I'm not in this group oh sorry it has to be a group I'm in because uh, otherwise I won't be able to show you what I want to show you um or it could be public groups I suppose but let's just look at, let's just go back here and say um MLM let's just search for MLM groups MLM is a multi-level marketing right so I mean if I'm inside one of these groups this one here network marketing internet marketing MLM group okay so this is good I'm in this group already obviously they post this is a spam group so they post a lot of of, of random stuff in here but if I go to the people here <coughs> people here I can actually go in here and look at the people I have things in common I can go right here and then I can use this tool right here which is called the connector and I can tell it to go and you know send let's say I send two I'm just going to make it really quick <coughs> and uh, no I don't want to do that and oh actually I don't have I don't have a message I won't do it right now yeah you need to set up messages and things like that but the idea is 
that you can have it send a friend request and a message to people here based on that but like i said that's spamming right you're spamming somebody that has no clue who you are that you've never contacted with and you've never seen their profile that's why i prefer using this because if i add this group here to my tool if i go back to da, 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 discussion <coughs> if i go back to this to the tool I can actually tell it to add this group it'll it'll give me an error saying because I already have all my groups but I can actually add this group to my list <coughs> right here see how this group is right here if I click on add it'll say your maximum is very so I'd have to delete maybe one of these groups if I wanted to be able to add it because yeah I have a maximum of 15 groups but the thing is once I have that group in there what it, it will what it will do is it will go through this these posts right here and it'll it'll find this like this person here it's and San, Sanamos right he posted and then and then if I uh look at the comments here I can see who commented on these on these posts right it says 10 comments so why is it am I seeing only oh there it is top comments all comments <clears throat> so I can see who posted right they're all spam probably right and that's kind of but the thing is you want to find better groups than that obviously but the idea is that you get the groups and then you have the tool to give you the list and then you can follow up using that list so what I do now and I just go <coughs> to the hot the hot leads the ones that I've been engaging with for long enough and I use this to determine who to come have a conversation with <coughs> now obviously the next part is having the conversation that is that makes sense right so first you're going to want to have a opener message saying something like you can just say hi I've been following you for a while just wanted to say hello because I really enjoy your content or maybe you say something specific about a post that you've seen a few days ago then you build up that relationship by having conversations some back and forth a little bit now you don't want to spend you know days going back and forth and whatever you want to actually ask actually ask them did you know that I was doing X right I'm just wondering uh, obviously um, yeah so you just want to ask them that right and that's the thing so you can ask them what they do hope hoping that they're gonna ask you what you do right <clears throat> but you can also say hey by the way I don't know if you ever noticed I built a tool or whatever maybe I I help people lose weight or I help people build their network marketing business by finding leads online or I help people get a list of active users in groups I don't know if you know I have built a tool then you can say by the way what do you do because I've been looking at your profile and it's not exactly obvious what you're actually selling sometimes it's going to be true other times they it's obvious right so obviously when it's obvious you try not to say that <coughs> so that's why <coughs> sorry that's why it's important for you to actually go to their profile and look it up right so if I go through this list here and look at somebody who I haven't visited in seven days and uh, let's just look at uh, uh, Jason King let's load some more because I <coughs> maybe look at somebody who's actually I haven't visited in a long long time right uh, so I would look at their let's look at uh, well, Marla Ben I'm Tarek so I don't know who I don't really know but let's look this guy here says he's a hot lead so I'm going to go to his profile I'm going to look at what he posted <coughs> he helps ordinary nine to five working people right achieve both time and financial freedom right so great then he posts right February 15th uh, this is a pin post so any new skills I'll say and I'm just going to like this I'm going to react to this post here <coughs> if my Facebook can load up here I think it's still loading okay there we go so so I'm just gonna say over here so very true it's important to learn new stuff all the time right so when you see as I was in, right and then I'm just gonna say that then I'm gonna do another <coughs> post here there are no hacks no secret tricks and then I'm just going to say over here it's all about taking action and never 
giving up right so i'm just gonna do a, a comment that makes sense the post and then another way and then i'm just say very true right just make it simple okay so now i've i've come on three of his posts and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to send him a message i'm going to say and this is somebody i've been following for a while but i haven't actually reacted to so i'm going to say hey Tyrek, we've been friends for a while but i never but we never chatted just one minute oh right so uh, basically what I'm uh, just so anybody who's listening to the audio obviously so basically I just put in here we've been friends for a while but we never chatted whoops we never chatted just wanted to say hi love your consistency with your content you and now I'll just say how do you find the time because one of the things that's super important is you have to be asking a question otherwise you're going to lose the control of the conversation right <clears throat> how do you find the time right so I often ask that question and usually most people come back with you know it's automated or I or I batch create or whatever but the thing is that you're telling them a compliment and you're asking them a question <clears throat> so after I've done that I close my tab up here and then I go back to here I say how many posts I commented on how many posts I reacted on in this case I sent a pm and I also change my lead status to contacted then I just save that so now I have he's now contacted he's a lead that I contacted now so tomorrow the day after when he reaches re responds I'll change his lead status to replied or if I talk to him about my business maybe I'll say presented you know though so it's kind of like a, a CRM right kind of to keep track of what what you've done with who and all that right so if I keep loading some more here <clears throat> I can find others that are hot see how these are replied these are people I've messaged and they replied back right <coughs> so once they replied back it means I have a conversation with them <coughs> and the other cool thing about this tool which actually I would like to um, talk about is when I go here there's a report right here and I can actually see from the report the percentage of replies versus this comes so if I look at last this and last month so you know well, actually let's look at this this quarter this let's look at this month right so over here I've got 63 percent replied now I can I don't know anybody who does cold outreach cold messaging that gets 63 percent of people to actually reply to their messages do you no that doesn't happen so this is how this is why this is so important is to build that relationship just through the Facebook engagement going to their profile and commenting on their stuff there's nothing else that's going on you're building a relationship with them automatically by them seeing you commenting on their stuff so, and then you get these crazy reply counts <coughs> and then you know in my case I haven't really been building up to do a presentation that's why the numbers are so low but still that's kind of the idea here right as you go you build your relationship you send them messages you have conversations and then you can actually offer them your product or service all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions you can always reach out and by the way you can try out this uh, tool at activegroupusers.com so let me actually put that in here activegroupusers.com you can try this tool out and we'll see you in the next episode This has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.